With such a growing interest in theatre productions, particularly in the South West, the Sound of Music production has proved immensely successful for Talkie Boys Grammar School. Here's Lloyd to tell you more. The A Award nominations have recently been announced and showcased the best in British theatre in the London's West End. However, with the spotlight firmly on the London scene, what does this mean for theatre around the rest of the country? Last year, the Society of London Theatre reported an increase in the overall revenue, which exceeds £6 million. But will these figures mean that theatres throughout the rest of the country will suffer? The Theatre Royal in Plymouth has recently undergone a £7 million regeneration project, which has greatly improved its interior design and facilities. This has attracted many new shows, such as The Phantom of the Opera, uh, The Lion King, and Wicked, and many more. Uh, but with new productions coming on the way, such as Mac and Mabel and Annie, it looks like there's a positive future for Plymouth Theatre. However, how long will this success last? Last week saw a stunningly produced production of The Sound of Music here at Talkie Boys Grammar School. Has this shown pupils the capabilities of musical theatre? And will this, along with other school productions, create a new era of theatre goers? We'll find out. Hello, and uh, did you see The Sound of Music? I did. And what did you think of the production? Oh, well, I thought the singing was brilliant, the music was really good, and the acting was top notch. And uh, has that made you more interested in musical theatre? Yeah, I, wasn't, I didn't really like musicals before, but now it's really inspired me to get involved more with musical theatre. Well, we're here with Mr Sears, the uh, musical director of uh, The Sound of Music. And how long did it take to rehearse the production? Well, we started the audition process in September. So what's that, September, October, November, December, January, February. Good six months, isn't it? And um, the cast practice from October to December, and then through the spring term, and then the band start practicing in January. And how happy were you with the final piece? I thought it was an excellent performance, and I've done 24 at this school, and I think it is one of the best that we've done over the years. And do you think that pupils will be inspired to be more actively involved in theatre and musical theatre as a result of the production? I would hope so. And indeed, we have had pupils who've been in our school shows who are now professional singers, professional actors, and who do um, light and sound professionally. Thank you very much. I was the stage manager for the musical, and um, we had a really good technical team, and we did really well. I, there wasn't any major hitches, technically and it was really a massive success. I think it's so important that we continue promoting theatre at this school and for opportunities to find you, so just take every opportunity. And in other news, members of the public in the South West are prepared to pay more to dairy farmers to ensure the security of the local industry. John has the latest on this story. The public have promised to pay extra for dairy products in Devon and Cornwall due to a record low in prices of milk. Dairy farmers have been struggling to make ends meet recently due to a falling price in milk caused by global oversupply and a dip in demand. As a result, the suppliers are receiving as little as 20p per litre, which is less than production costs for many. How much profit do you think farmers should get per litre and why? Well, I think they should be able to make at least 30% like everyone else does. That's, uh, they're self-employed. Um, the biggest obstacle is, in fact, that uh, supermarkets aren't paying them a fair, aren't paying them a fair price for their product, um, and it's certainly not enough to cover their costs. How do you feel about some local farmers not making enough to cover the price? Well, I'm very, very alarmed. I've sort of been in agriculture for a, uh, a fairly long period in, uh, of my life, and uh, I'm very, very concerned that an awful lot of dairy farmers are going to go out of business. And of course, we have to always bear in mind that they are. You know, they are custodians of the countryside. That's, uh, that's a major issue for us. How much would you be willing to pay when buying milk? Oh, I'd certainly be willing to pay at least 50% more. Have you noticed a change in price recently? Yeah, um, there have been some adjustments, and, uh, but by and large, supermarket prices are pretty stable. Having said that, if you're able to sort of buy bespoke um, milk, let's say sort of Channel Island milk, except special brands, you know, yeah. then those prices have fluctuated and, they, and, and they're obviously paying their producers a much more uh, sensible rate, if you like. So you would consider paying more for local dairy products? Absolutely, absolutely. And farmers deserve to be paid a proper price. Thank you. 
Farmers believe that the low prices may result in consumers underval undervaluing the dairy and the work gone into it. Stephen Scow, a Southwest solicitor, has run a survey on local customers, revealing that 85% of people are prepared to pay up to 20% more if promises are made that the money will go to local farmers to secure the region's dairy industry in the long term. This has been Joel reporting from TBGS as part of the BBC News School Report. In addition, the Royal Navy is introducing a brand new uniform. Harry has the story. The Royal Navy is set to introduce a new uniform for the first time in 70 years. The current uniform has been in use since World War II and is known amongst the members of the Navy as Number Fours. Officials describe the new uniform as more modern, comfortable and fire retardant. It will see its first use in service on Sunday when the crew of the HMS Lancaster are deployed on a nine-month mission. The new design is called the Royal Navy Personnel Clothing System and has already been tested on numerous naval ships and submarines. According to a Navy spokesman, feedback for the new uniform has largely been positive. There are several layers which can be removed or added depending on climate, including a t-shirt, top and thermals. It is said to offer more protection from flash fires. Badges will now be worn at new locations on the uniform, on the chest instead of the arm. The trousers have been redesigned and are lighter, as well as having smaller belt loops and angled pockets. Commander Peter Lawton, commanding officer of the HMS Lancaster, said, We are extremely proud and genuinely delighted to be the first ship to wear the Navy's new uniform. It's been hailed as a modern uniform which is fitting for a modern Navy, and has been praised for its flexibility and ability to withstand extreme temperatures at both ends of the spectrum. Ex-Armed Forces members Brendan Prince and John Peter King voiced their opinions on the uniform. Do you agree with the introduction of the new naval uniform? I think it, it can't be a bad thing. Um, the, the old uniforms are very traditional, very expensive, and not, don't necessarily have modern materials, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. So, do you think it's cost effective? Um, well, the whole reason of bringing in a new uniform would be from a financial point of view. So, it should be, and if it isn't, then heads should roll over it. Alright, and um, finally, do you think it is more beneficial for health and safety than the old uniform? The old uniforms, certain aspects of dress uniform, is very, as I say, expensive, very cumbersome, and very hard to look after, and of course, a huge amount of cost. So, washing all that aside, can't be a bad thing. Do you agree with the introduction of the new naval uniform, Mr King? I think there's got to be a time, always, where uniforms get updated and it's been a long time since that uniform was updated so yeah I think it's fine. Do you think it's cost effective? It's pro there's probably some cost um, I can't imagine that it's for free but it, it's not going to I can't imagine it's going to make a huge amount of difference to the naval budget. New uniforms compared to a new aircraft carrier it's, it's not a lot of money. Uh, do you agree with the wish to become more modern or do you think tradition is more important? I think both are important. I think the tradition can be kept by having smart dress uniforms. This is a new working uniform and I think, you know, at work you should be modern and, you know, ready to go. And do you think it is more beneficial for health and safety? Certainly, if it's going to stop them getting flash burns, then that's got to be a good thing. I've been Harry for the BBC Schools News Report 2015 for Torquay Boys Ground School, Devon. I've been Mr Kim. And I've been Joel. And thank you for watching the Talkie Boys Grammar School's BBC School News Report. Goodbye. Goodbye.